Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen has also been talking about his dad's death. His dad died of blood cancer and he's working with a new campaign to raise awareness of the disease. It's so good to see you and you were so young when your dad died. I mean, you were only a kid. Yeah, I mean, I, I was eight when he was diagnosed um, and actually he died very, very rapidly. Right. Um, I, he was diagnosed uh, at Christmas and by the July he was dead. Um, and I think that the, 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 the thing that I love about this campaign 45 years later, is that the world feels very, very different. Mm. Um, I mean, inevitably, medicine, science has meant that there's a lot more that can actually be done. Sure. Um, but actually, it's just the fact that people are more prepared to talk about it. I think, I think the one thing that I remember so much from that whole experience was the, the silence, the darkness of it, that actually we didn't talk about my father's illness. Mm. Uh, we saw very little of him. You know, having a, a, a diagnosis of cancer back in 1974, you were sort of expected to go away into a corner and, and, and that was it. Mm. Um, and the whole point of, of, of making blood cancer visible, which is the name of the campaign, is to get people to understand that actually, if you feel there's something wrong, the sooner you can get a diagnosis, the better. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are so many more options these days. But also just talking about it is incredibly important. Part of, part of the work that I've done uh, is, is spending time with uh, people that have been diagnosed with mm. uh, blood cancer, all of whom have different uh, stories. Um, but just to get people to engage with it is still one of the killers in this country. It kills more people uh, than prostate cancer, than, than, than breast cancer. But it's oh, one so of those ones that we don't Talk we don't, about. We don't, and, and I mean, back then, of course, it wasn't ever talked about. Never. You know, it really wasn't. At least yeah. now, we, you know, yeah. things are out in the open, which, which is a really good yeah. thing. And you, as a little boy, and you lose your dad, and your dad dies, did you feel that you had to kind of step up then? Because the pressure would have been on you a little yeah, bit. That would have been. I mean, hard. inevitably, yes. I mean, I think, I think uh, uh, it was all, it was a very complicated uh, period because also my mother had been diagnosed with MS and uh, oh, she gosh. had been severely uh, uh, unwell. Actually, at that period, the, the, the symptoms were were slightly in remission. Um, but yes, I mean, it was it was you know it was a complicated period. Mm. What I what I feel though so strongly is I, I look back on that though and I don't see it as a tragic time. You know. There were moments of great sadness, but I think my mother worked so powerfully um, to make us feel as a family that we weren't normal like other families, but we sure. had our own kind of normal. Yeah. Um, and uh, there was an enormous amount of positivity in my childhood. Mm. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, for years and years and years, I used to dread people asking me about my, my, my family, my parents, because, you know, you, I'd say what had happened mm. and people got so sad. It sounded like I was kind of brought up in a Dickensian novel. You yeah. know, it's all it, very it wasn't kind of... like that at all. It wasn't. It wasn't like that It wasn't, at all. and there was an enormous amount of positivity. And yeah. I think, again, this is one of the things I think about making, uh, you know, bringing blood cancer to the fore, bring, making it visible, is mm. to have, uh, uh, to allow people, we've done a series of films, which you can see on the website, which allow people to see the positive side of it, the, yeah. the, 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 the way that people um, use their own resources to make themselves mm -hmm. better, how you can spot uh, the symptoms, which is obviously a very important part of it, sure. and what you do. No, absolutely. What do you think your dad would have thought about your career choice? Would he have approved? It's a very interesting question, actually. I'm not <laughs> entirely sure. He was a very flamboyant person. Yeah. Um, he was a very eminent orthopaedic surgeon. So um, that I definitely... Uh, uh, and he was quite a dresser. Right. So I think all of that would have chimed quite, uh, uh, <laughs> quite successfully. But I remember when I first... Uh, when Changing Rooms started, which was uh, 25 years ago, uh, I remember my mother uh, saying, hmm, television. Not very gentlemanly, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know. Kind of, yeah, you know. Not really. Not but, really. you know, you said 25 years uh, of changing rooms mm. 20 years of DIY SOS. I know. We always feel that as a, a society, as a community, we're very selfish. Mm. But actually that proves that we're oh, not. every single time you yeah. watch, you see the absolute best yeah. in people. That's why it's so, so good. Family is really important to you, obviously. Very. And the family all live together? You all stay together? We do. More or less? We do in a, um, a, a strange, uh, slightly Mediterranean way. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I like that. Well, I think it works. actually, it has good. worked so well for us. Both uh, uh, both girls came back from uh, university, one with a husband, one with a fiancé, um, and now we have a grandson as well. Um, and what, one of the lovely things is actually sort of... Uh, being part of the same community. It's, yeah. it's good old-fashioned homestead living. Um, and my son-in-law uh, works the business now. This is, oh, there we go. So cute. W wonder if you can guess which one of is the grandfather and which one is the grandson. Mm, let me think. Mm, let me think. <laughs> uh, 
Um, he's a naughty little cute. gent. He does look really impish. But I think, <laughs> I think you know, that is so amazing, to have Albion part of uh, our community. Uh, Jackie is with him, you know, nearly every afternoon. Fantastic. It means that Cecile can get on and, uh, with her own career. Uh, and I think that, you know... I, 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 looking back, I, I, I think it's crazy that we, we worked away from that. You know, mm. several generations ago, that's actually how yeah. families did it. Yeah, and it's know, still in many parts of the world. Lived together, still is, yeah. worked together, yeah. very much in India, yeah, obviously. For sure. Lived together, worked together, and um, share. Um, mm. And I think that actually we get on better because we spend so much time together. I think sometimes when you are, um, you know, you have these rather fractious family parties, um, it's because you don't see enough of your family. Exactly. That's true. Do you know what? That's a really, really good point. And you've been married for 30 years. 30 glorious years. There's well so paid. many. It's, it feels <laughs> like there are so many anniversaries. I've come to you with all my anniversaries. <laughs> I know. It's wonderful. It really is. Look at you, dear. I know. Oh. Child brides, we were. <laughs> and stayed with each other and, you know, it's just all... It just works. You've well, just I think made it work. We, it um, you know, we were very lucky. We found each other very, very young. And, um, again, I think that's wonderful with, with both girls, with both Hermione and Cecile. They found their life partners very young as well. I think it must be tragic to get to, say, my age, to get mm. to your mid-50s and find that you've found the one. Yeah. Actually, Jackie and I have been together forever. We've been together throughout. We've done yeah. so much growing up together. Uh, and we've got such a, a, an incredibly firm friendship. I think friendship is such an important part oh, of it. Oh, absolutely. Very underrated. And obedience. <laughs> Are you obey? Oh, yeah. Yes, quickly. And quickly. <laughs> Can I obey quickly? <laughs> yes, like that, you very, know. very no, fast. Not slowly, but quickly. So good to see you. Good luck with the campaign. Everybody much. can find out all about it on the website. Indeed. And it's great to see you.